YouTube, it's your girl Maria Manise and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to feature another holiday look that is perfect for any holiday party that you have to go to. So if you want to see how I achieve this makeup look, please keep watching. First, I'm just going to prep these dry lips just with some Vaseline so my um, lips aren't that dry when I apply my matte lipstick later. And now I'm just moisturizing my face with the Clark's Botanicals moisturizer that I got in my December Ipsy bag. And now I am priming my face with the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. I just applied that in my T-zone and then to the rest of my face I used the um, Smashbox Color Correcting Primer. And now I'm going to fill in these eyebrows using my favorite, the NYX Cosmetics Eyebrow Gel in Espresso. I'm just going to fill them in as usual. Y'all know the drill. Mm-hmm. And now I am going to clean up my eyebrows using my Maybelline Master Conceal. Isn't that what it's called? Yeah. Face Studio Master Conceal. I'm going to apply that over my eyebrows and under my eyebrows just to give that fleeked out look. Bam, bam. I forgot to speed this part up. Sorry, y'all. It'll be alright. <laughs> and next, I am just applying some illuminator. I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi and the Becca Skin Perfecting Illuminator. And I'm applying that underneath my foundation. And for foundation, I used the L'Oreal. Lumi True Match um, on the top half and I forgot to show y'all but on the bottom half of my face I use because I have dark marks um, I use the full coverage foundation I use the um, Too Faced Born This Way mixed with the Kat Von D Lock It In foundation and so now I'm just going to start highlighting I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It In concealer and I'm going to apply that under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and up my big old forehead. And then I'm just going to take a damp blender. I think this is the Real Techniques Miracle Blender or something like that. I'm taking my Real Techniques Blender. And it's damp. And I am just blending that all together and then I am going to set my um, highlight with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder mixed with the Ben Nye banana powder and I like these mixed together because it doesn't give me too much of a yellow effect nor too much of a white effect after I wipe it off from baking. And now I am going to start the eyes. I am using the MAC 24 Hour Extend Eye Base as a primer. And then I just went in with a neutral kind of skin tone shade after I finished singing um, to set the um, primer and then is my transition color from my BH Cosmetics day and night palette I use just like a brown color and I just use that on the high point of my quote-unquote um, crease since I have hooded eyes my crease really isn't there um, so I just use that on the high point of that to kind of open my eyes up a little bit more and then I went in with my MUA crease brush and took a darker brown shade and applied that directly in my crease to define what should be my crease. And 
and I'm applying that to the crease and the outer V of my eye. And then I'm taking my, it's the darkest shade in the Naked 3 palette, and I'm applying that only to the outer V of my eye. And then I'm going to blend all of that together using a fluffy tapered blending brush. And now for the eye lid color, the actual lid color, I use the gold in that same Naked 3 palette. And then I use some pigments, woohoo, to give it the nice festive look. I used um, the MAC pigment in tan. And I just applied that all over my eye using a um, wet eyeshadow brush. It's just a flat eyeshadow brush. And now I'm just going to blend all of that together. And now I'm going to, I didn't show y'all that I blended it, but I did blend it. <laughs> and now I'm going to line my eye using the um, Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is the black one, and I'm going to wing out my eye. And I love this liner. It gives me the perfect, I mean, perfect wing liner. I love it. Absolutely love it, y'all. I love it, I love it, I love it. And now it is time for mascara. I did three coats of mascara this time. I did um, two coats of the Essence Volumizing Mascara. I love this mascara. Like, love it. And so I applied that using the tips from my girl Jackie Ina. Hey, girl. Um, just applied that from the base, you know, from base to tip. And then for the second coat, after I let that sit for a little bit, um, I took my L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara. And I did that on the top of my lashes, kind of curling it out a little bit. And I also did it on the bottom too. But because I had a few clumps that I had to get out. And then I ended up going back in with my essence. Oops, sorry y'all. I ended up going back in with my essence mascara after I let that sit. And um doing my third layer apparently I applied a lot on the second layer but I had clumps I was actually getting out clumps I don't know why I had so many clumps though it was, ugh, ridiculous now I'm just gonna sing real quick <laughs> while I'm letting that sit and now I'm going back in for my third layer and then for the bottom lashes I used a brown mascara this is the their real benefit mascara and I just so use that in brown and apply that to my lower lashes and I made a boo-boo so I have to clean that up and now I'm just taking the same dark brown shadow and applying that underneath my lash line and then I used a NYX eyebrow or NYX eyeliner pencil to do my waterline and now I'm using a NYX pencil in the corner of my eye and now I'm highlighting with the Becca Illuminator. I use the liquid and I set the liquid with the powder, the opal. And I did that on the high points of my cheek and down my nose. And now I am bronzing. I use the CoverGirl Mineral Bronzer in the hollows of my cheek and along my forehead. Just to give my face a little bit of life. Life, honey. I needed some life. And then I contoured using my NYX, mm, 
my BH Cosmetics, excuse me, I contour using my BH Cosmetics Sculpt and Glow. And yeah. Oh wait, I think I'm still bronzing. <laughs> and so the sculpt and go bleep blah, 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 the sculpt and go sculpt and glow. Gosh, I can't talk. The sculpt and glow BH cosmetics. I just used the contour shade and I also use the blush from that palette. And now I'm just contouring down my nose from the same BH Cosmetics Sculpt and Glow palette. It's just the darkest shade that they have in the palette. Now I'm just using some blush. And again, that's from the same BH Cosmetics Sculpt and Glow palette. I love this palette, y'all. Like, I love it. <laughs> and for lipstick, now, right now I'm using the um, Soul. It's by Colored Rain. I love their lipsticks love them so I'm just doing that like on the outer part of my lips because I'm going for like an ombre effect and in the center of my lips ouch I used the shade called sugar and then just pat 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 it out And then I'm just going to set my face using the NYX Cosmetics Dewy Setting Spray. Because I felt like my face was a little bit too flat, so I needed some Dewy Setting Spray. Fan it off. And look at that glow, honey. That glow is on fleek. And now I'm going to show you my outfit that I wore to my company holiday party. I got the dress from Lord & Taylor and it's by Eliza J Dresses. I love the neckline and it fits perfectly. I really still don't know how I got into a size 4, but I did it. Shout out to Eliza J <laughs> for making me feel thin. And this is just, you know, the whole... The whole look. The dress is about to my knees. You guys can't really tell, but it's to my knees. So I've been having my butt in the camera, but y'all know. And then the shoes are Jimmy Choo. They're the Ables. All right, y'all. So that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below. Just let me know what you guys think. Let me know of any suggestions that you all have for me, of something that you might want to see in an upcoming video, something that you might even want me to change. So just, you know, let me know. Holler at me. All right. Happy holidays, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.